We are closing in on the end of week 10 for this NFL season. Teams are starting to divide between contenders and pretenders. With all teams halfway through the season, I'm going to look back and reflect on players that have had the most disappointing starts to this 2020 NFL season. Let's get right into it. To begin this list, we are first heading to Dallas to discuss a big name halfback, that being number one, Ezekiel Elliott. Now, before all you Cowboys fans come for me in the comments, hear me out. Zeke has not been living up to his standards. He has had a fumbling issue this season, which was very apparent against the Falcons and Browns, two very mediocre teams on defense. Even when Dak was on the team, Zeke was not able to produce and lead them to victory. It was through Dak's stellar play that the Cowboys scraped away two wins. Now, Zeke has been very disappointing, and we hope he can bounce back to what he was in 2016. And to move southeast from Dallas, Texas, we go to Duval County for number two on our list, Gardner Minshew. Last season, Gardner was able to play very well and developed a nickname that stuck with him as Minshew Mania, but that has suddenly seemed to disappear this season. He just got benched for sixth round pick out of Oregon State, QB Jake Luton, who played well and even scored a rushing touchdown on his first NFL start. Luton is looking to keep the QB1 position for the foreseeable future. And with Minshew's limited arm talent and lack of strength for deep balls, Jacksonville is looking to move on. It's looking like the Gardener is going to need a change of scenery for a career resurgence. And west from Jacksonville, we head to Tiger Country in the Bayou for number three on our list, Michael Thomas. Oh, you might say Michael hasn't been able to play this season, but this is partly due to his own actions. He's been reported to have been acting out in practice and fighting with other teammates. Now, this is not something you expect from a player who's ranked number five on the top 100 list going into the 2020 season. Michael Thomas can have a good second half of the season, but it will never match what he did last season. NFL is all about what have you done for me right now? And right now, Michael Thomas has not done much for the New Orleans Saints. We're getting good production from some of their rookie wide receivers and Emmanuel Sanders. Overall, just been a very disappointing start to Michael Thomas's season. We expected him to have another record-breaking year with Drew Brees. Now, to head west to the desert of Glendale, we've got number four on our list, Chandler Jones. You might say, what? Wasn't he selected to the All-Pro team last year? And you'd be right about that. But with the emergence of young safety Buda Baker, the spotlight has gotten taken away from Jones. Only has seven QB pressures and one sack this season, compared to last season where he had a total of 19. His presence on defense is being missed in Arizona. While Chandler Jones is still looking to make a presence on the defensive side this season, we can only hope he can get back to his former All-Pro status. Finally, we're headed to Music City. This player plays on the team that just lost in Thursday Night Football. This is number five on our list, Jadavion Clowney. To start off, Clowney has not been playing well. Only four tackles for loss and six QB hits, which is one less than Chandler Jones. No real pass rush generated for the Titans this season, and his only real use is in the run stop. People thought he was having a revival of his career in Seattle, but he just ended up going back to his normal Texans production. Clowney has never been worth a first overall draft selection, and he's proving it even more this season with the Tennessee Titans. 